All right, here we go. While you guys are distracted, they are busy, busy, busy working behind the scenes. Now, I asked you guys a couple videos ago. We're going to get right into it. If you guys have been getting like logged off of your apps, logged off of your computer stuff, having to re-log in, are you getting a lot of terms of service agreement updates? Are you guys noticing that a lot of this stuff is going on on your phone? A lot of updates on your phone, a lot of updates on your computer. It's my assumption and it's a pretty darn good one, is that they are working behind the scenes to entrap you, okay, into the cyber or techno slavery that everybody's been talking about, okay? So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna talk about a terms of service agreement update that T-Mobile did that you probably don't even know about, and you probably saw the terms of service thing and you just clicked it and you're like, yeah, whatever, I never read that stuff anyways. But this one, well, this one you're going to need to know. All right, we're going to get right into it. Breaking. Uh, T-Mobile has quietly updated their TOS terms of service to include fines for content they do not agree with. Did you hear that right, folks? T-Mobile is now going to be monitoring your text messages. And trust me, they won't be the only ones. You need full compliance, otherwise it's not going to work. So they're the first ones to jump out and to test your reaction to the new tyranny coming onto your cell phone. I also heard that there's a new law in the works, or maybe it was passed in one of those bills that we have to pass it first to know what's in it. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. It says that you have to have your cell phone with you 24 seven. Like you cannot go to any restaurant, gas station or anything without this device in your hands. And we've talked about before of, of them making this an extension of your body. Mark of the Beast territory? <laughs> Hope you guys are keeping a close eye on it. All right, beginning January 1st, 2024, they will be finding users who commit perceived violations on their bandwidth. This is in America, y'all. Land of the free. And now we're going to be uh, censored by our own telecommunications companies as we pay them monthly to do it. You picking up what I'm putting down? SHAFT, S-H-A-F-T, <laughs> is an acronym that stands for Sex, Hate, Alcohol, Firearms, okay, hope you're paying attention, and Tobacco. It outlines the categories of text messages, your private communication from one person to another, specifically regulated due to moral and legal issues and is monitored and enforced by the Cellular Telephone Industries Association, CTIA, and the mobile carrier. It's nice that they changed the TOS date right before the 2024 elections. I, I'm explaining to you guys that the 2024 is going to be lit. You're going to have so much distractions, so many false flags. Mine's a little dark. I just feel a lot of concern that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. This is a national security event with high impact that's very hard to predict. Um, there are a number of cons uh, concerns that I have that factor into that. And not only this uh, sort of enduring heightened threat level that we're facing, uh, the wars in Israel, also Ukraine. And we're so divided in this country in ways that we haven't seen before. And I think that just creates fertile ground for our adversaries like North Korea, China, and Iran. And that's what uh, concerns me most. Okay, now I'm going to read to you guys exactly what it says from T-Mobile. Beginning January 21st, 2024, T-Mobile is instituting three new fees for non-compliant traffic that result in a severity zero violation. A SEV zero, severity zero, represents the most harmful violation to consumers and is the highest level of escalation which the carrier will engage with bandwidth. This applies across all products, SMS or MMS, short code, toll free, and TDOLC, and that traverses T-Mobile network. The non-compliance fines will be assessed for every SEV zero violation issued as follows. Tier one, $2,000 for phishing, smishing, or social engineering. <laughs> Government fined. <laughs> All right, tier two, $1,000 for illegal content, including content must be legal in all 50 states and federally. So they're saying that if your content is not legal in California, 
that's going to be a problem. So you have to have content that is legal in all 50 states to share on your text messages or you're going to be in violation of the new law. Are you guys understanding this stuff? Tier three is $500. This is like a magic mark, right? It's $500 a day if you don't register your LLC in 2024, starting January 1. If you guys want to know a video about that, I'll let you know. But the federal government is now going in and trying to register small businesses. None of their business. And again, this is another bill that passed because we have to pass the bills before we know what's in it. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Another bill that was passed in the dark of night or in some paragraph. Now we all have to register our LLCs with the federal government come January 1, 2024. If you don't, there's a $500 a day of fine. Just like this here. Each fine will be $500, including but not limited to shaft. Please review the T-Mobile Code of Conduct, Section 5.2, for a list of all disallowed content. Do you guys understand that? The article right there, you can go look up the terms of service for T-Mobile. No one's making this stuff up. And while you guys are distracted with every other kind of thing that could be messing your mind up, they're going to be slowly squeaking in this techno data stuff. All right, and this is exactly why Stacy and I are creating our own platform that we can share all of our information with so you guys are not getting dumbed down to the unteenth degree, okay? Because that's what they're out to do right now. They're out to spin one narrative that everyone follows and all dissent will be so knocked out of the way, you won't even hear it. And if you do hear it, you probably won't even believe it, all right? So that's the latest. If you are a T-Mobile Huh. Customer, I ain't telling you what to do, but you might want to uh, you might want to audit that, right? Because initially, what they do is they roll out the system on a platform, okay, and then they test your reaction to it. If you guys haven't noticed, the last five years, <laughs> they're testing your reaction to it, okay, and then they adjust accordingly. If you get really ticked off about it, as I've displayed in some of our other stories here, if you get mad about it then they make adjustments, okay? Because they want to get you really upset and they want to push their agenda, but they don't want to push it too hard because then it'll really cause a lot of problems. You understand that? They cannot control the demolition if you get too upset about it. So it's tried, this is all controlled demolition, what you're seeing happening here, okay? And don't think for one minute, if you're following this stuff, that you're going to get out of 2024 without a religious war. Okay, because they're priming all the pumps right now. They're setting it all up in front of your face. They're working up the mobs and they're going to start dispatching them towards you. And I've been warning you guys and warning you guys and warning you guys. And now it's here. Okay, 2024 is going to be lit. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel because you are going to need to know how to operate in the coming apocalypse, okay? You're gonna need to know how to operate without electricity. You're gonna need to know all this stuff that we've been teaching for the last 10 years on YouTube for free right here. Okay, you're gonna need to know it. And if you wanna know it now, don't waste any time. Go to our channel, hit the videos tab, and start watching all of our old videos because we walk you through the whole thing, how to live completely without the system, okay? Because we, we are doing it 100%. And if they take care of the phones and they take off the cellular connections and all this stuff, Stacy and I will be just fine until the bandits start to roam the land. And then, <laughs> well, then we'll just have to make some more plans accordingly, which we already have. We'll just have to execute them. The plans, that is. Okay? So, you guys, this is just about information, right? Because we need all the information so we can make the best decision. It's called full disclosure. And over the last year and a half, I've been on a mission for full disclosure. I want you guys to know everything that's out there, everything that's going on behind the scenes, so you guys are not caught flat-footed. Okay? We really care about you guys. We want you to know this information. We hope you had a good uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. We hope you guys have spent time with friends and family. Hopefully some of your family are waking up and coming out of the ether a little bit on this stuff. As each day now, 
this is really going to start ramping up, y'all. My neck, this video is coming up this week. I'm going to be talking about the border. A lot of people do not understand what's going on at the border. I am going to have all the proof, positive proof. I'm going to show you guys months and months worth of footage to show you that this is a huge problem. And on the way out, I want you to remember that men stay with their wives when they're fleeing war and men leave their wives when they're going to war. Okay? Now we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your family, especially if they're on T-Mobile. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. YouTube is actively unsubscribing people. I had a message from somebody last week. They said they were unsubscribed from our channel five times just last week. Y'all, we are over the target and they know it and they're trying to weed us out of the way. So it's up to you guys to keep us relevant because that's how all this AI works. If you don't share, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, YouTube pushes it on out of the way, okay? And we made our videos are now no commercials. So you should be enjoying that as well, all right? They actually cost money. If you wanna join YouTube and watch videos without commercials, it actually costs you money and I'm doing it for free. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Leave a comment down below if you heard about the breaking T-Mobile story. And also, leave a comment down below. Have you gotten a lot of TOS agreement updates? Have you been uh, logged out of your apps that you've been logged into for years and never had a problem with? All of a sudden, you're being logged out and asked to re-log in. Okay? Leave it down below. See you on the next one.